I'm aware I have nothing on my walls. This is very boring. Video backdrop. Let's move past it together. Together. So my apartment has been watching a lot of 30 Rock, and I don't know if you guys remember the episode, but there's one episode where Liz Lemon gets her own talk show, and it's a relationship show where women come on and talk about their problems with their boyfriends or their husbands or whatever, and then Liz Lemon gives them advice. In the episode, she pretty much just tells them to break up with their significant others every single time, because the catchphrase that she coined that the TV show is based off of is, that's a deal breaker, ladies. So that got me thinking about the things that would cause someone just just no conflict happening, just you hear about something and you break up with someone. Just the deal breakers that are really just like, nope, that's it, sorry, bye, you're done, we tried, it's not happening. Because in this, in this show, Liz Lemon talks about, you know, your boyfriend is secretly gay, you, that's a deal breaker, shut it down. But then she also talks about, like, hmm, he wears flip-flops in public too often, that's a deal breaker, shut it down. So I asked people on my blog, what are your deal breakers? What are the things that would make you break up with someone? And a lot of people responded, you know, cheating or bre breaching trust or generally like just being a bad person to you, you know, like if you get treated badly, you're going to break up with the person that is treating you badly. However, I have also been thinking about the other kind of deal breakers, which are the ones that aren't really like a big inciting thing happened and then you got into an argument or you got some kind of conflict and you had to break up with the person. It's more just like you learn something about a person and then you have to break up with them. And I think it's harder to have those kind of deal breakers where it's just like, you're not the kind of person that I'm going to be able to be in a relationship with for a long time. But I think that they are also necessary to have in some cases. Because, uh, well... Have you ever had these chips? I haven't been paid by Tostitos to do this. I just bought these today and it got me thinking. I'm sorry if you disagree with this, but Hint of Lime chips are the best tortilla chips. I am very conflict averse when it comes to like things that are a big deal. I don't really like put myself in a situation where like I have to say something bad to a person or like give them bad news but I feel like not liking Hint of Lime chips could end up being a deal breaker for me and this is why okay imagine I'm dating someone who doesn't like Hint of Lime chips and we want to make nachos am I gonna have to sacrifice my love of Hint of Lime chips and eat tortilla chips with just salt on them in my na my nachos? Like, what if we're just dipping tortilla chips into salsa? That's the blandest thing I can think of if there's no taint of lime. Or are we gonna have to not compromise and then have, like, two separate things of nachos? Because then you get rid of that cute thing where you're both going for the same nacho and uh, uh, uh. Think about all of the extra money that you have to spend if every time you buy tortilla chips as a couple, you have to buy two bags. And you know you can't eat two bags at the same rate that you can eat one bag, so that half of those bags are going to be stale. So you'll eat one bag's worth of chips, but it'll be two different flavors. You're throwing out chips! I got more heated than I thought I would about this issue. So, how about you guys? What are your what are your deal breakers? I mean, do you have deal breakers? Do you feel like maybe if you're so ridiculous of a person that you can't get over lime flavored tortilla chips, then maybe you shouldn't be in a relationship at all unless you're the person you're with is equally ridiculous? Let me know in comments and stuff. Bloggy Pals, the theme of the week is make a video. Do 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 Bloggy Pals!
I can't not, I can't turn the camera off without doing this. It looks really, I'm a, I'm a white American. This looks very strange culturally for me to do, but I do it every time. Sometimes I just cut it out of the video and you don't know that I do that. I'm gonna stop recording now.